Hi everyone, today we're going to review the Samson Express Bluetooth public address speaker. Now uh, in terms of size, it's um, not that big, it's um, about the size of a shoebox to give you a feel. I'll show you my iPhone next to it here in a second. But uh, it, it has, um, uh, I'll go over a few of the negatives, it has a good but not great bass, it's got a real muddy mid-range, and the highs are definitely a little compressed. It has a single um, woofer here. And then you can see up above it, it's got a little uh, tweeter. So the sound's okay. It's definitely not stereo, but it, it's it will it's definitely not for audiophile as well. But for me, it's a clearly going to be a five star five star product um, for what it does. Now again, the sound performance isn't fantastic, but it's definitely good enough. And uh, you're going to see that I'm outside right now, and I, I usually don't film Bluetooth reviews, Bluetooth speaker reviews outside because they're not loud enough. But we definitely don't have the problem with the Samsung Express. So let's look at it and see what this thing will sound like and what it can do. Alright, to give you a little reference, there's my phone. Um, you can see it's, it's bigger than my phone, but it's definitely portable. The speaker weighs me up about 10 pounds, um, so it's not that big of a deal. Now we're going to listen to some nice non copyrighted music, um, like Yankee Doodle, just to give you a feel for how loud this thing can actually go. So uh, let's take a look at it. Oh, okay, I do apologize in advance that I'm not playing the uh, coolest music in the world, but Yankee Doodle is copyright free. It's in the public domain, so I can play it. Because, yeah, and it does give you an idea of how it sounds. So here we go. And. Okay, I also put a little Battle Hymn of the Republic in. Again, it gives you a feel for how it sounds. The bass was pretty good. Again, a little muffled. But the thing is, this is a PA speaker. This is not necessarily just a Bluetooth speaker. So, uh, and it's very loud. Now, this is outside. Um, and I'm about five feet away. And uh, it, it will definitely fill my entire yard with sound. And actually, my neighbor's yards too. So hopefully I don't get too many complaints. Now let's look at some of the features and behind the speaker itself. Okay, a couple things. One is this speaker is actually completely rechargeable. So, in my opinion, it's the first completely rechargeable Bluetooth PA system that I've seen that will completely fill a yard with sound. Um, some of the smaller ones are rechargeable, but they don't boom like this guy does. Now, you don't have to have it um, off of the battery. You can also plug it in. So let's look at some of these features that we have in the back. back. So you've got a line out, as you can see. But then next to it, you have your bass and treble controls. Now, if you if you completely uh, try to max out your bass and treble, you're going to hear some of the limitations of the speaker. So keep that in mind and adjust it accordingly. Now, above that, you have a microphone in and a line in. So the line in would be for, um, um, again, it could be a speaker, it could be anything, a microphone pretty self-explanatory and then on the right you can have an mp3 player in which is right there the little auxiliary input and then there's a little button with the arrows right there and what that is is you push it for Bluetooth and so now you can see we're in Bluetooth mode now above that I'll try to make it so you're not too dizzy you have um, and it's pretty well set up how this is done here you have your different volume controls so you got the volume for the microphone You've got a volume for things like a keyboard, as it shows, and then you have your volume for your uh, Bluetooth or for your uh, iPod, iPhone, uh, Samsung, or whatever device you want to be using. So you can see that you do have separate volumes. And I did have it full volume, just to give you an idea of how loud this guy really is. Um, it is fully rechargeable, which is great because you can take it on the go, and it's not too big. Okay, my final few thoughts on the Samsung Express. Uh, one, again, the sound's not fantastic. If you're looking for top-notch speaker sound, it's not there. It is more of a public address system. It's great for birthday parties. It's great for being outside. Uh, it would be uh, probably good for somebody that's um, um, kind of an indie uh, coffee house rock shop and you just want a nice speaker that you can kind of tote with you pretty easily. Plug into your guitar or your, your keyboard and you can just kind of rock with that. It'll work for that. Um, and again, it gives you a lot of a lot of actual flexibility. So you can use it as a speaker, use it as a public as a public address system, 
and uh, it's easy and portable. So I actually use it a lot, um, especially in our yard where we can completely fill the entire yard with sound and, um, and not have to worry about cords. So I'm going to give it five stars, even though, again, the sound's not perfect, but it's definitely, for me, good enough. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'd be happy to try to answer them for you. Thanks, and take care.